SMT Nation, we back. This update, this video today, is going to focus on AT&T's direction with wireless operations, specifically mobile networking as it pertains to activations and eSIM. Some of you are on iPhone, you know, 13s, 12s. You have 5G. You, you might be very satisfied with your device. I mean, hell, you might be on an LTE phone. AT&T does have a very capacitive, good experience on LTE. Uh, and this goes back, actually, I think, to the 10s generation. You may have eSIM active on all those iPhones. It's been at least, I want to say, feels like maybe four generations of iPhones here, right, that have been able to do eSIM. And AT&T has been pretty good about getting those activations to be pretty seamless. T-Mobile's kind of getting there, too, right? They got their little trial thing that they do. If you want to try the T-Mobile network, worry-free, risk-free for a few months, and you could do it with an eSIM, you know, on iPhone and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, Verizon's doing eSIM activations now. But this video kind of highlights the direction that eSIM is is taking the wireless industry and how this all played out for AT&T. Okay, so everybody knows that you need some form of a SIM card or what's known as subscriber identity module cards uh, in order to get connected to a network. So you need a carrier SIM card that becomes activated through the carrier, and then you can connect to their suite of features and network options, LTE, 5G, and so on. The iPhone 14 generation ushered in the first ever eSIM-only devices. AT&T, obviously being the iPhone carrier, right? They've, they've been rolling with the eSIM for a while, and they knew this day was coming, and they have pretty much facilitated that switch pretty well. In my estimation, in terms of the activation process and moving SIMs around and stuff, I do feel like they have been doing things the right way. And actually, it indicates here, according to AT&T's James Hamilton, he's a lead eSIM engineer. He says this all kind of has its roots in the iPad generation 2014. And then after that, it was the Apple Watch, right? Going eSIM, those were kind of the first steps. And the Apple Watch is what, you know, several generations in at this point, uh, so you've had the better part of essentially the last decade, right? Eight, nine years of developing this technology. And now with the iPhones going fully eSIM, they're all in on this. All right. Indicated here by the AT&T's assistant VP of device architecture, described the iPhone 14 launch going eSIM has gone very well. His colleague, Jeff Sebastian, another lead eSIM engineer, demonstrated the interface that subscribers can use to move their phone number to an eSIM to just another to another with just a few clicks. I mean, it is pretty simple, folks. It is easy. Uh, and there's multiple ways to do it, too. They demonstrated how to set up an eSIM on a brand new iPhone, how to transfer a number from a, an existing AT&T phone to another, and then moving an unlocked eSIM phone from a competitor's network to AT&T, all accomplished in minutes. Okay, so... That's pretty much it. I mean, at this point, they feel pretty confident in the way things are going. They figured out all the different potential failing points, addressed them, fixed it, and here we are. And, you know, this is a direction of things, you know, the way things are going. Carriers are now giving people opportunities to switch really easily, which is good for you as the consumer. And it's also good for them in that it keeps the switcher pool healthy. It keeps the switcher pool very active people constantly coming in and out of that switcher pool. All right, now T-Mobile is is really big with this. They've got their network pass, like I was saying before. Try the network for free for three months. You know, use their network, see if you like it, see if it's improved, you want to stick with it. They've opened the door of opportunity to get people to switch to their network. And AT&T kind of doing the same thing with the Cricket prepaid service. We did an update on that a couple of weeks ago. And things seem to be working pretty well for them. Uh, physical SIM cards, kind of a thing of the past at this point. Uh, if, if you have a device right now that is physical SIM, not eSIM, right, physical SIM only, uh, that's probably going to be your last one. You know what I mean? You're probably going to be moving towards an eSIM only phone. When does the Google phone go eSIM only? We might be a year away or something like that. Maybe not this upcoming generation, but probably no later than maybe like the Google Pixel 9. The Samsung Galaxy devices, could we see see an eSIM only situation in the S23? I don't know if it would be an S23, but 
probably buy the S24, right? When Apple does something, when the iPhone gets something or loses something, then we see the the adjustment in the marketplace. <laughs> the industry responds. AT&T probably in the catbird see when it comes to the AT, uh, the eSIM switching. Uh, T-Mobile's done a nice job for themselves as well. The Verizon experience is fine too. I just feel like AT&T was ahead of the curve on this and they are the iPhone network. So it all kind of makes sense. That was the timeline. That was the course of events. And that's how things are going. Are you guys happy about the eSIM trajectory? Do you like where it's at today? Do you want to see it improve? Do you have concerns? I know some of you like physical SIMs. You prefer them. So it's an easy move from one device to another. I just don't think we're long for that beyond, you know, the previous couple generations of phones. Those phones are becoming legacy tech and all these new ones are probably going to be eSIM here in the next year or two. But anyways, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say on these matters. You all are the voice of the people. The SMT Nation let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more and turn on that bell notification and never miss an upload. Links are in the description for this article as well as all the stuff going on with the channel. Become a member, subscribe, you know, like this video, share it. You guys are the best. Thank you for all that you do. I'll leave you with some words of positivity. Every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace.